Hello everybody, how are you all doing? My name's Chris and welcome to Sharp Edge Woodworking. Now as you might know, as of um, one of my recent videos, I recently became proud owner of a Ryder 4.5 bench plane from Axminster. And I've had a little time to use it and I still speak very positively about it. I've got nothing more to add to it since making the video on this particular plane. Very happy with it indeed. Now today is Monday the 23rd of November and on Friday the 20th of November I was at the Harrogate Woodworking and Power Tool Show. So, don't ever let it be said that I don't put my money where my mouth is. Now in addition to my four and a half, I went and got myself a number four and a number five. Merry Christmas. So, um, Axminster had a, had a stall at the show and I went and had a look and the good thing about this show is that they either already offer things at very good prices or they have a bit of flexibility price wise to negotiate and in this particular case I didn't pay regular retail prices for these, I did get a little bit of a discount. So I am delighted with adding these two to my collection. Now I've already stripped these down, I don't want this to turn into another rider bench playing waxing lyrical video, but um, I've already sort of um, stripped these down, sharpened them up, played around with them a little bit, uh, checking for square, checking for flat. Again, nothing I would be prepared to argue about very 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 minor issues but basically dead flat dead square and um, a pleasure to, a pleasure to use once once I've played around with them for a little while so um, a little more about these actual planes speaking to the guys on the day um, again with them um, the four and a half that I won the the marketing contact that I have at Axminster who provided me with that, um, speaking to him and speaking to the guys at the show, these planes are manufactured in India with um, the company that Axminster um, they deal with to produce these planes. It's, it's, um, it's a modern, new, fully computerised casting foundry. Um, all upgrades have been overseen by Axminster themselves and from what they've produced at the price they've produced it it's an excellent excellent product in my personal opinion so um, like I say this isn't uh, a big enough or I'm not being paid or anything like that kind of thing by Axminster but just having first-hand experience of using these I would like to share that opinion with you and you can do with that opinion whatever you like. So, there. Right, so though, that was those. What else did I get? I got some other things. I got some clamps. I got some clamps, heavy clamps. So six clamps, two for a tenner, with like a 600mm capacity. I'm a bit short on those. So when it comes to me making sort of cabinets, and again a bit like the, the TV cabinet I made I'm kind of using my great big sash clamps there which is a bit overkill so I added a few of those so those were two for a tenner which I think is a great value I've got all my clamps that I've, all the clamps that I've got um, barring my sash clamps um, I got those from the show over the past two or three years just sort of picking them up bit by bit as I go I got myself a brand new square which cost me 16 pounds it's very nice and I have sort of checked it and calibrated it and well it's as calibrated as it's going to get but I've checked it and it's um, it's very very square my old one I must have dropped it a couple of times because I've noticed recently it's kind of tapering off towards the top so that's getting replaced with that Oh, I'm delighted to announce I am now a member of the Festool Tool Owners Club with my first Festool tool. 
It's very new, you might not have seen it, it's called the Ice Scraper. I picked this up free of charge from the festival stand. So I'm now an official festival tool, tool owner. Go me, go me in the well. Pick myself up a little chisel pouch tool roll thing, just for when I go out and about. I don't currently have one, that was £1.50. I got one of these little, it's like a dig, digital depth gauge thing. Need a new battery for it. Other than that, that was a few quid. Well, those were pound little metal glue spreaders for like getting in dovetails and things like that. Sort of thing I've been looking at for a while and now I have them. I got a pack of Posi 1 and Posi 2 driver bits for a couple of quid. And I got four of these. You can never have too many of these. Always quite handy, two a pound each. Um, and that was pretty much it. That's making noise. So that was pretty much it, but all in all, um, really enjoyed it as I do every year. And if you haven't been to these things or you don't know about them, there was a time I didn't know about them. Somebody told me about it, I went, I loved it. And I've been every year since. So this is just kind of a video promoting this great event. It's called the um, Woodworking and Power Tool Show. Like in my particular case, it was the North of England Woodworking and Power Tool Show, which is held in Harrogate. There is one down south somewhere. I'm not sure where that is because it doesn't really apply to me. I believe there's one in Scotland. I think it's Edinburgh, but I will find out and I'll add the details in the show notes of this video. And last year they added a Midlands Woodworking Power Tool Show, which I think is in Newark. But again, I'll check that. And if you're interested in checking these things out and getting yourself a ticket, get yourself down there. Hey, it's all cool. So that's it, signing out. Take care and I will see you soon.